Kim Kardashian changes her name of Kimono Solution Wear, which again, interesting um, developments on that one. Uh, again, news that I think is, you know, when, you know, sometimes, you know, I get, Don Trump gets a lot of bad press, but I think the one thing that he's been, um, you should be given credit for is introducing the, lex- introducing fake news to the lexicon of culture. I think um, it really encapsulates a lot of what's happening at the moment with, you know, the stuff that we're seeing on social media, the stuff that we saw with Cambridge and Cambridge Analytica, the stuff we're just seeing in general, the dissemination, dissemination of information overall, the fact that there's no unified truths anymore, the fact that everybody's feelings take over, the feelings of people um, are more important than the facts of the situation, the fact that some people interpret law um, as uh, somehow... Um, you know, did you remember, do you see that um, recent controversy with that makeup artist? We probably didn't, but the makeup scene is full of drama. There was a, a makeup brand that supposedly was doing a competition on Twitter or something on the current land, right? They put out a competition, like, oh, retweet this and you enter this competition to win, I don't know, a foundation. And then in the tweet, it had the terms and conditions, right? Just briefly terms and conditions. You must be a U.S. resident, blah, blah, blah. And then somehow in the, in the next line, it has something along the lines of legal U.S. resident, right? And then it kind of continued on. And everyone kind of flipped out. Legal? What do you mean by legal? This is ridiculous. I'm not going to support this brand. Um, you can kiss my legal ass, blah, 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 all that sort of shit, right? Um, so everyone was kind of, you know, quick to cancel a brand because they dared to say you have to be a legal US resident to enter the competition. Finally, it kind of came to pass that a few other drama channels posted other tweets from other companies also doing competitions that also stated the same sort of thing, right? And then everyone's had to kind of walk back their thing because it wasn't them taking a political stance and standing with, you know, Trump in terms of, you know, kicking out illegal aliens. It was just like a, a legal term that was used in competitions, T's and C's. Everyone has it, right? You have to be a legal resident to enter the competition, standard procedure. Um, and again, it, got, it went to show you just how ridiculous everything is getting, right? Where you can't just, you can't go by the letter of the law because even the letter of the law is somehow discriminatory. So it comes back to this Kim Kardashian thing, which, in my opinion, seemed like no news at all. It just didn't seem like news. It seemed like they were trying to make this a thing when it isn't a thing. And the odd thing that I think about is, I think for most people that study marketing or branding, the weird thing about the Kardashian thing or in media is that I get the feeling, especially with the Trump in well in some regard, the more they keep talking about people that they don't like, right, pointing out their, indefic- their, in- their deficiencies and the things that they do wrong and how they didn't say that right and blah, blah, blah the more that they think they're going to be able to, you know, tear their house down and kind of um, humble them in some regard, shape or form. But in King Kardashian's case, right, the Kardashian clan, they've essentially been able to carve a career out of the attention economy, right? They can, they have some, they have an uncanny ability to garner attention, to always make them, to always put themselves in the headlines, whether it's by their own design or by, you know, just some, you know, being a little bit naive or whatever it may be, but they're able to do it, you know, all the time, consistently, consistently, whether it's, babies whether it's names whether it's clothing whether it's business deals whether it's perspective on life whether it's prison reform or releasing convicted felons early wherever maybe they they, they they find a way of putting themselves front center of things all the time some of it's sincere some of it maybe not so sincere but the issue that i have with it is that the media actually think this is an actual cool way of destroying somebody and i don't really think it is i think they really fool themselves into thinking that the more attention they give to kim and the more that they point out her vapid nature and the fact that she somehow does things for the money only and for attention these kind of things that somehow people are going to finally wake up and think oh kim kardashian's an evil person that isn't true i think the beauty and the strength of kim kardashian and the whole kardashian clan is that they've been able to be successful out of being completely them themselves right they don't they never have presented themselves in any way other than who what they are right valley girls who are very much into their image very much into their family, very much into materialism, very much into that kind of Hollywood lifestyle, LA lifestyle, right? The lifestyle a lot of people kind of are probably, let's say, maybe ashamed to say that they're infatuated with. They wouldn't necessarily want to say it out loud because maybe it would make them seem a little bit hollow. But you only have to look at the success of Love Island to see that people do quite like peeking into that kind of lifestyle of someone that's only about, you know, they only live for the materialism and for the moments right you only have to look at jordan woods um rare table talk um listen to that to kind of hear how kind of you know lacking in substance that kind of life is but it's also entertaining right because it's you said oh we would just be young and having fun and living in a moment right that's all there is to them right everything's a moment and you can see how it is by the pictures they take right they're very much pouting and posing and trying to create these moments that you can kind of look back on time and think wow do you remember when we were here and there and doing this sort of thing 
So anyway, the story goes that Kim, Kim Kardashian basically launched this line of solution where essentially a, a Spanx that she sort of launched that kind of, you know, case of women who kind of want to wear dresses or wear certain sort of outfits without having to put on, you know, dowdy underwear. A cool concept. Something has been done already previously, but again, packaged in a Kim Kardashian way, done very well, very minimalistic approach, kind of um, expanding on the kind of easy sort, sort of stuff. And again, just create another great revenue stream for people that like that sort of thing. And again, if you don't like it, just don't pay attention to it. But I don't. I think nowadays that doesn't exist. There is no such thing as if you don't like something, don't pay attention to it. People just pay attention to everything, like everything. It's just bizarre. I've never really understood that sort of thing. And I guess my, even on my tiny platform, I'm only going to talk about stuff that I like or stuff that I'm interested in or stuff that's kind of made me curious or stuff that's kind of going to got a reaction out of me. But I'm not going to necessarily sit and waste time tearing somebody down for something that I don't necessarily think that is beneficial or that has any sort of not beneficial. I'm not going to sit here and kind of tear someone down just because I don't like their thing that they do. I'm just not going to pay attention to it. And the Kim Kimono thing was something I didn't really get. Again, she launched this um, essential line solution wear thing. Um, it went very viral. People liked it because of what it looked like and the kind of application of it. It kind of came off the back of the full body makeup thing. Again, if you're not really a fan of it, just don't pay attention to it. But again, she named it Kimono. The social media got outraged by it. Um, somehow it raised up a really interesting conversation behind people not trademarking well-known names or phrases. So in this whole era, in it, I guess, you know, Kim Kardashian launching a brand like this and putting it to public, the, the normal process that you trademark the name Kimono. Um, obviously, Japan hadn't even trademarked it themselves. The trademark application went in. Japan minister of somebody, something, filed a motion against it or wrote her an open letter. And, you know, throughout the social pressure out there and the fact that Kim has now suddenly come into the good grace, I think, of most people. I think aside from the flat tummy tea controversy, the stuff that she's doing with releasing uh, felons early from prison has really kind of garnered a lot of reaction from people in general because, you know, she doesn't need to do this. She can just retire and live in her mansion, look after her beautiful kids. She doesn't need to do this sort of thing. So the fact that she's done it, I think she's now probably in a position where she's like, you know what, I don't need the hassle. And she kind of caved, really, um, which uh, which I'm uh, disappointed with. But again, it's just a, it's such a non-issue that I really don't know why I'm even talking about it now. But, you know, I guess it is what it is. Um, she put a post up on Instagram that said, being an entrepreneur and my own boss has been one of the most rewarding challenges I've been uh, blessed with in my life. Definitely agree. What's made it possible for me after all these years has been the direct line of communication with my fans and the public. Um, I was, I'm was i always listening and learning, growing. So I, if, I, I so appreciate the passion and varied perspective that people bring to me. I announced the name of my Shapewear line. I did so with much in with the best intention of my mind my brands and products are built with inclusivity and diversity at their core and after careful for consideration i'll be launching my solution web brand under a new name i'll be in touch soon thank you for understanding which is you know again i don't the public pressure thing i'm not really a fan of caving on people that are doing this sort of thing but again i understand she just doesn't want the hassle people are already coming for her neck in general um you had that jamila jamil girl again going hard in the paint about the full body makeup thing she had to then backtrack because people got in contact with her and said this isn't just a vanity thing it's actually like a confidence thing because there's girls out there that suffer from um eczema really aggressively and other kind of skill and elements who haven't been able to wear dresses in years because they feel subconscious so the idea of one day in the week or one day in the month being able to put on some short shorts because you covered your legs with makeup is really a core cool thing Maybe something that I will necessarily want for my own daughters, but again, that is not, neither here or there because I don't necessarily have the autonomy to kind of dictate what any woman does with their body. But again, just a very interesting situation in general, right? You've got a, a family that has essentially made their entire business out of, you know, um, the vanity and materialism of the world, launching products that kind of, you know, lean into that kind of interest. And then you've got the world reacting in shock and awe when they do something in that field that doesn't necessarily land into their own perspective and stuff. It's just like, what's going on here man like they're always going to be around right just let it go you're not going to tear them down you're not going to cancel them they have their own fan base it's annoying as it may be but what you should be doing instead is propping up people that you like right propping them up if you don't like the kardashians cool prop up your person speak highly of the person that you think should be um an inspiration or a role model for females or girls out there in general it doesn't make any sense it's like the trump thing it's just a bizarre way of really dealing with something like you know I don't know. I, I, I have again. I'm just. It just surprised me. I, I live. I live, I'm from an era where if I don't like something, I just don't talk about it. Like you know, it's like that. It's like food reviews. It's like um, restaurant reviews now. In, in, for the most part, in the UK, just in general, how many times have you been to a shitty restaurant, and how many times have you gone up to manager and complained about the food? None. Zero. I've never done it. Right. What you do is you vote with your feet. You just don't come back again. And then one person does that, 
And then, you know, you might speak to your friend in confidence and he might tell you, hey, have you been to that place? And you might be like, oh, no, don't go with shit. And then that other friend tells somebody else, oh, my friend went there and he thought it was crap. That friend goes and he realizes it was crap. Then he tells their friend. And then word of mouth. And then so effectively you've got a business that, again, it's bad for the business because they don't, they have no idea what's happening and they're dying, you know, death by a thousand cuts. But that's where you, that's how I would do it. Instead of just besmirching somebody online, like, that's out of order. Well, it's my own personal experience. I don't need to go and blast it to the world. People eventually find out anyway. Um, or an anonymous Google review might do the job. But yeah, it's just an interesting time where people are really out going out of their way to really tear people down for things that they don't like about them. Like, just keep it moving and just focus on somebody else. I don't really understand this sort of thing. It's just a bizarre way. There's always going to be a group of people out there who are going to love what they promote the collection. It just is what it is. Like, you can... It can be annoying. It cannot marry up to your moral or to your way of the way you view the world. But that that is gonna always exist. That that's just a, that's it. Simple as that. Let's just keep it moving, man. But I don't know. I guess you can't tell the people those kind of things. Anyway.